It was actually pretty warm, so it seemed like a good day to go look for gophers. They start getting out of bed about this time of year. Males coming up first and looking for love. But oh my, that wind. Any gopher standing up in this would have been blown across the pasture. But those Chinook clouds look pretty cool. In frozen lakes, they were like mosaics. So, though the chances of finding any gophers were about zero, I figured I'd just keep going anyway. I ended up down at one of my favorite places, Keo Lake. The ice ridges there were cracked and there was open water turning with white caps. And lots of deer around as usual. These ones were taking it easy in the shelter of a Karagana hedge. Geese, too. The wind was so strong they practically hovered as they came in for a landing. And I was having loads of fun trying to keep the camera steady. These geese were wobbling in the wind as much as my lens was. But you pretty much never get Chinook wind without Chinook clouds. And they were gorgeous. Under them, I could see Chief Mountain off to the southwest. And all the mountains were shrouded with windblown cloud. There were silver trickles of meltwater in the dry sloughs and new calves in the pastures. I love these little guys. This one really wanted to play and the other one really didn't. The day wore on, go for free, and the wind blew drifts of tumbleweeds up against the fences. And it was still nice and warm as dusk began to fall. These mule deer, part of a herd of about 40 of them, were out in the field in the late afternoon light. And as the sun dropped below the western horizon, the Chinook Arch began to take on some color. And with that, the day was done. No, no gophers. They're up, but I couldn't manage to find them. So I just had to put up with yet another gorgeous Southern Alberta day.